All right, right now we are talking to City of Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn. It is Ask the Mayor time. And so one of the questions that just came in from the number that is at the bottom of your screen is, what is happening with the pallet homes now? Of course, we had that whole pallet home program at Pomona Park over the yes. winter time. Mm -hmm. So right now the pallet homes are in storage. The Department of Insurance only allows them to be up at 180 days in in any given time. So we are looking for other places to put them up. Um, certainly we have them if there is ever, you know, a tornado or we're mm -hmm. approaching the five year anniversary or flooding that we'll be able to redeploy them, but they will go up again next year. Okay, um, this next question is, what will you do to improve transportation in our city? And of course, there's a whole bunch of projects that are already underway. There are, and as people know, we are trying to go car optional. You'll see more bike lanes, certainly more sidewalks, and we are working with a consultant to come up with crosstown routes to make it easier for people who are gonna ride the bus. You know, lots of people use it to go to work. They're not using it as car optional. It's something they have to do, but they can spend an hour getting to work and an hour back. We're looking at what routes can we, can we implement that would make it much quicker. And easier for people who are using it on a day-to-day -day yes. basis to do that. All right, let's look uh, forward when it comes to improving parking and other road improvements, especially I know you're looking at parking and changing things when it comes to the downtown area. Yes, um, especially on evenings and weekends. Um, downtown parking gets very congested and we're very fortunate because there are a lot of great things going on downtown, new restaurants, people want to be there, but we are looking at different um, parking alternatives and where we can have um, more parking spaces, especially at the south end because they've just outgrown mm -hmm. where people can go and park. And we don't want people not to come downtown because it's not convenient for them. Yeah, you have a bunch of new breweries and restaurants and things of that nature Absolutely. all on that south end of town. Yes, and, and we do have parking. great, great festivals. We just had a wonderful um, country concert during the ACC. It was absolutely packed downtown. Um, and we want people to come because that is one place that's centrally located where everybody can go. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of which, uh, someone's asking, what is your favorite part about being mayor? So um, my daughter and I, when we would go out, she said we had something called the 50 foot rule that we couldn't really walk more than 50 feet without somebody stopping. And I really love those organic conversations when you hear what's on somebody's mind, what they like or what they don't like. And so I just, like um, that people recognize me and they feel comfortable enough to come over and talk. Okay, the, the community feels like they can come up and talk to you. Yes, I hope so. All right, I love this question because we've done this story a couple of times. I keep seeing these purple street lights around yes. downtown and around town. How do I report these things and why are they there? So we are actually starting a program which um, will be in April for two weeks where people can report um, outages in on street lights and the purple lights and Duke Power has agreed to partner with us and to get those lights up quickly. So it's called Lights on Greensboro and that is another thing that's very important when it comes to public safety because if an area is well lit there's less likely that um, something is going to go on that it shouldn't. So we are really focused for two weeks in April on getting those lights on. You can report them to the um, Greensboro Collects, our, our website, or you could go on. Um, Duke Energy has a website also. I'll get you that information. And then there are prizes. They're, they're going to go into a hat, and there are three prizes that people can get. Okay, so it's not up and running as of yet, but it will be. Yeah, it starts okay. in about a week. Okay, it starts in about a week, so you can report that purple light in the other things as but well. But go ahead and report them now. We'll make sure that you get in the drawing. Okay. This person says, I'm looking to move to Greensboro. What sets Greensboro apart from Charlotte? Oh my goodness. I think there are so many things that set us apart. We do have great job inter um, opportunities, but we don't have the congestion that Charlotte does. You know, when we talk about traffic, it might be waiting a traffic light, but you, this is still a 15 minute city where you can get from one side to the other. We have great amenities like the Tanger Center. The Science Center will be able to see the, the new baby hippo. We have wonderful amenities here that are affordable. Um, one thing that I really like about Greensboro is there are many non-ticketed events where families can get out. And so I just think that Greensboro, our goal is to be one of the the, the most family-friendly cities in the Southeast, and I think we're well on our way. 
Well, let's talk a little bit about some of the fun stuff. One with that we have the food truck festival that's set to be April 30th. Uh, they're looking for volunteers and all that other kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We are always looking for volunteers because before you know it, the Wyndham will be here, the um, the Folk Festival. You know, go go on the city's, go on a website, just type in what can I do in Greensboro this weekend, and it will come up with a whole list of great things for people and families to do. We got the Fun Fourth Festival coming Absolutely. back in town, so this yes. is all good. All right, so this question says, are there plans to bring more bike lanes to the city? There are, as a matter of fact, we just announced that there are 2.6 miles along Holden Road that are being striped right now. Um, we know that uh, we have over 1,100 miles of road in the city of Greensboro. Um, so we are making inroads on the bike lanes. Okay, so that was a question about bike lanes. We've got one more question, and I don't know where we are with this. This says, are there plans to improve paratransport in the city? You talked about the city transportation getting from one part to another part a little bit easier. So those are the smaller buses where people can call and get a reservation, especially when they have to go to their doctors or they just can't get on the big buses. And so, yes, we are trying to enhance those services as well. Um, there's also the iRide opportunity, but that works through the through the city of Greensboro. We want people to be able to get around the city and do what they have to do and do what they want to do. Both things. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, all right, we got about 30 seconds left. One last uh, point that you'd like to make. Well, um, one, it is great to be back in studio and to sure. ask all these questions. I hope that people really are getting outside and seeing this is the year of the trail and seeing the wonderful parks that we have and the great trailway opportunities. And it's wonderful for walking, running, jogging, taking strollers, whole families. So get to know our parks and recreation and our trailway system. Yeah, this is definitely Chamber of Commerce weather out there for you Absolutely to say Absolutely it today. is. Yes. Thank you so much for coming in studio. We Thank missed, you. Uh, if, and if you missed any part of this interview, you know what? You can rewatch it on our website, WFMYNews2.com.